Hello, in this video I'll briefly talk about negative sequence. So we know generators you know do not produce negative sequence currents or voltages. So where do they come from? So one source of negative sequence is open phase. So for instance, <clears throat> you know you have three phase system for instance. So let's assume this is impedance, phase A, phase B, phase C. So you have source and so on and so forth. But somehow, let's assume this extent for some length. But somehow this phase here, you know, the, the conductor broke, for instance, or something. So it becomes open. So then, you know, you will see negative sequence uh, currents. If you have unbalanced loads, so you have a three-phase system, you know, if I draw just a box, for instance, you have the three phases here. Let's assume this phase is carrying 20 amps, this one is carrying 15 amps, and this one is carrying... 10 amps for instance or 20 amps but as you can see the phases are unbalanced so when you have unbalanced loads uh, you will see negative sequence and balanced lines so for instance you have lines but their their impedances the phase impedance the impedance of the phases are not equal and that's why you have to <clears throat> You know, with the feeders or transmission lines, you have to ro roll. You have to rotate the phases, and also you have to transpose them. You know, every so uh, you know so many feet or miles, so you can create kind of an equal impedance. Also, the same conductor. So, because if the impedances are not the same, then you will have unbalanced situations, unbalanced faults. What are unbalanced faults? So like a line to ground, you have one phase fault into ground. Line to ground, or line to line to ground, or just line to line. So basically, imagine you have, so we have three phases here. So for the situation one, just one phase here, somehow like a tree, falls on one of the phases and cause it to be basically there is a uh, complete circuit to ground so phase a b c so if c for instance goes to ground now you will have unbalanced situation or you have a line to line so for instance somehow phase a for instance and phase b they, you know, they were touching, you know, whether another conductor fall fell and kind of shorted them together and they were shorted to ground. So that's line to line to a ground fault. Or basically just two lines, somehow they, beca they became shorted together. So if I take just as an example, B and C somehow became shorted. Not necessarily to ground, but just they became connected together. So that's a line-to-line -line fault. So you will see negative sequence uh, current flowing. So the common factor really is unbalanced. So anytime you have unbalanced uh, situation, you will see negative sequence. So if you look at all the previous examples that I kind of provided, open phase, it caused unbalanced. Uh, unbalanced load, obviously it's unbalanced. Uh, unbalanced uh, line impedances, transformer impedance, <clears throat> unbalanced loading, or 
faults that cause unbalance, like a line to ground, a line to line to ground faults, or line to line. <clears throat> so three phase or line to line to line. So the, all three phases. So if you take all three phases, basically phase A, B, C, A, B, C, if somehow they become shorted altogether and they can be to ground or without without ground involved, it doesn't matter. Typically, they do not contribute to negative sequence. So this was a quick review of the source of uh, negative sequence, you know, currents, voltages. So hopefully you find it useful. And I spoke about symmetrical components, which involves uh, negative sequence, you know, besides uh, positive sequence and zero sequence in other videos. Thank you and have a great day.